Okay, good morning and welcome to Ian with Ben Seal. And today's daf is Yvamos Sadi Gimel 93. Um, most of the daf deals with uh, a concept that shouldn't be so foreign to most people. Be makna olam, to make a Kenyan, to make an agreement where you can't renege on the deal on something that is not yet in the world, not produced. For example, um, I make a deal to. Uh, I do want to get a bespoke suit. That's my next purchase for a suit. I don't want, you know, these ready-to-wear suits, off-the-rack suits, even Brooks Brothers. I want a bespoke suit. Uh, Hot couture, I think that's called. High-end fashion, which is usually bespoke suits, bespoke clothing, made to your body, made to... It's, it's part of the Big Day Kahuna. It says, can we do so? You have to make the Big Day Kahuna... Tailor made. That's one of the halakhas about Big Day Kahuna. It has to be fit the Kohen, Gadol, and the Kohen exactly. So the Big Day Kahuna have to be bespoke clothing. So I want to wear bespoke clothing also. Uh, maybe I'll get some bespoke shirts also. Um, so when you make a bespoke suit, obviously it's not made yet. They have to make it. So usually, I don't know, I never bought one. So I don't know if you have to pay up front or you just make an agreement and you pay when the suit is ready. I'm not sure. I would imagine people will probably pay up front. Uh, when you pay up front, can you go back on the deal, right? It's low ball alone. The suit is not in the world yet. Maybe you'll say the threads are in the world yet, but it's not the same thing. Thread, you aren't buying the threads, you're buying a suit. So can you renege on the deal? Can I say, oh, I don't like the suit anymore. I want my money back or not give the money if you haven't given the money. Can you do that halakhically? Um, the, the consensus of the post game and the Gemara is that ain't other makna devar shalom You can't make a Kenyan on thing that's not in the world. So what does that mean? So when I was in yeshiva, um, there was two different svaras, main svaras based over here. One was that there's no smichas das, as a yeshiva should word, smichas das. Um, basically, a person, since the thing is not in the world that he's buying or he's selling, uh, he, he doesn't have the right um, intention to sell it, right? I can't. When I made that Kenya already, I didn't. I made that with a Kisaran in my Das. I didn't really plan on doing it. I thought I wanted to, but I really wasn't sure 100%. So therefore, I never had expressed Kavanah to make a Kenyan. And maybe that's one of the things that are important in a Kenyan. Whether you have in mind to make the Kenyan, that's, you know, Mekach Tos, Kedushay Tos. If you had in mind certain, uh, you know, if Elon, Elon Musk and, you know, you bought Twitter and you thought there were only 5% spam bots and, you know, you only had intention to buy with five five percent or less spam bots, and there, there's twenty percent, you know, and you find the twenty percent, they won't disclose the amount to you. So, you know, maybe that's a mecca toast. I don't know. I mean, you know, this is it's really true. I mean, if unless there's a written agreement, right? You can say if there's no written agreement, I only had in mind to do it on certain conditions. Maybe give a vatal as kedushay toast. Misachas kedushin talks about kedushay toast. You intend to marry a woman, you think she's rich, and she's not rich, or you think she's poor, and she's not poor. So, what is the halacha? So the halacha technically is, that is speechless das, that's one way of explaining it. The other way of explaining it is that it's more of a lamdash way. It's like, logically, I can't make a kinyan. A kinyan is not chal. There's no chalos kinyan on something that's not in the world. It's not in the world. The kinyan... The effect is of a Kenyan has to be on something which is in the world. If it's not in the world, the parameters of Kenyan don't work. It's not because of my das, right? Which, if it's because of your das, if it's written down and you made stipulations, you wrote a written agreement, your das is bottle, your das is meaningless. Um, this, even if you wrote down the stipulations over here, I can't be makna at Dabr Shalom Olam. I can't sell or buy something that's not in the world yet because it's not in the world yet. And... Kenyan is invalid, so it doesn't, doesn't even begin to work. According to both of these ways of understanding it, it's sort of like a mekach toast, the deal never gets started. But we have a couple problems with this, and it really comes from the first case over here where they talk about it. Um, it's a Gemara in Bab Metziah, uh, the middle of Sadi Gil Malav HaMochar, Peras Dekel Kavero. he sells fruits on his tree. Now, he has a a, a palm tree. He's selling some dates on his tree. I'm going to sell you 100 dates when they ripen on the tree. Now, they haven't ripened on the tree. It's just, you know, it's the beginning of the winter. I don't know when the dates grow. They grow in the summer, in the winter, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's the beginning of the season. They haven't grown yet. So, Rav Huna says, you can only renege on the deal before it comes to the world. 
Shabola Olam, once the, the dates emerge, so you made the deal, can't go back. He's a source of this, right? You could be Chosir, you can renege on the deal, even if they came into the world. Why? Because it ain't of the Mach, never shall about Olam. Now, this is problematic. Why does he have to be Chosir, bro? If, if it's because he didn't have a smicha sas, he didn't really have it in mind to do it, and he's claiming a Mach of Tawas, or the king doesn't take effect on something that's not in the world, the parameters of the king don't work on something that's not in the world, so uh, it's Batel Mikara, the seal never took a place. Why does he have to go back and say, I am Choserbo now, I Yechol It sounds like if he doesn't Choserbo, he doesn't reneg on the deal, it's a valid king in. What do you mean? It's not, it's not a valid king. Ain't other mach than Devash Olam. So obviously you see that it does work partially, meaning I would say like this, there's two parts of the king, there's a skama, the original agreement that you make, whether you make it in words or you make it in writing. Um, and then there's the finalization of the Kenyan, the Gemar Kenyan, um, which if you don't say anything about the Gemar Kenyan, then it follows the Chazaka of the Tchilas Kenyan. It, you let the Kenyan, the Haskam, run its course. When the dates are produced, the, the deal is finalized. So Rav Nachman is saying that you're right. And the Mahdi Dosh Olam, the Tchilas Kenyan was done. It was done. It is. It, we did commit to the, to this agreement, um, but if I want, I can renege on the deal. Why? And the Mahdi Dosh Olam, because I would say when it happens, it's a different set of circumstances. Meaning, I give my original consent to the deal, but I have the right to remove my full consent when the matter becomes more clear. When the matter becomes, when the dates grow, when the really big dates and juicy dates and juicy dates. I really want to eat these dates. I want to eat. Uh, I want to squeeze out those medjol dates and make my smoothie. Um, you know, you can go back on your deal. That's Rav Nachman. Rav Huna says, you can't go back on your deal because the only thing that's important is the Tchilas Kenyan. Rav, Rav Nachman is saying a little more nuanced thing that there's a Tchilas Kenyan and a Sof Kenyan, and the Sof Kenyan, you, you have to have a scum on both of them. If you don't say anything, so the deal follows through. But if I want to renege, I can renege on the deal. And that's further... More proof to this is that he says that if, if after the dates grew and the buyer went and go and started eating the dates, and then he says, I want to renege on the deal. So even though Ramnachman says you can renege on the deal, but you can't collect repayment over what he ate already, right? Why? Because as long as you have not reneged on the deal, the deal is in place. The Chazaka is, it was a Tchilas Kenya. So you had a Haskam, original agreement. You didn't make a final agreement. We assume, until you go back on that deal, we assume you're happy with the deal. And and that's the deal. We assume you're happy with the deal. Uh, and therefore, the person has entirely rights to eat the fruits because you didn't tell him you disagree with the deal anymore, so he has a right. Afterwards, you say, I don't want the deal, so that's too bad. I mean, it's too late. You can uproot the deal, but you can't uproot what he ate because he had the right to eat it. Um, if this is true... Then, right, so then the understanding means doesn't mean that it doesn't work, it actually does work when I go and buy a bespoke suit. So, the Kenyan really does work. Um, but if I see the suit is not to my liking, so maybe I could. I mean, according to you know, US law or Israeli law, maybe you can't do this, but according to Torah law, uh, you could renege on the deal if you see that it's not the way that you like it. Uh, but if you don't renege on the deal, if you don't make that claim, maybe it falls into, you know, uh, after five years you can't make a claim anymore. Uh, what is that called? Uh, Statuary? Uh, the length of stature? I forgot what it's called. Um, there's like a period of five years after a crime is committed or after a deal is, you know, is brokered that you have, you can go uh, you can go back on the deal after that. You've given up your claim. Uh, so anyway, <clears throat> so technically you have that right for five years to go back on the deal. Uh, well, I guess once you take the suit and start wearing it, you can go back on the deal. Um, if this is true, then we have a very important nafkamina in, in one of the main cases over here. When you make a kiddushin, in the Mitzvah's kiddushin, you make a kiddushin to someone after, I'm going to be Makadish after your husband dies. Right? You can't marry a woman who's an Asia Sish, but after her husband dies. So, according to Rav Meir, it's Mikudesh, it heals other Mach, the Rosh Hashanah, and it could work. According to Rabbana, in Mikudesh. So, if it's like I'm saying, in Mikudesh, it means technically the Haskamah was in place already, the agreement was in place already, 
Um, and then when the husband dies, the Kiddushin would follow through. Animal Kiddushin doesn't mean follow through. It means that you can renege on the deal, and then I can get out of the deal if before I consummate the Kiddushin and actually go on with it and marry her, then I can't go back on the deal. But if the Kiddushin, nothing happens, I could renege on the deal. That would be maybe a big Kiddush over here. Um, if you would assume that means that I can't fully make a Kenyan Devash Lavala. We don't assume it's Nigmar right away. The original deal is, is, is finished. The original deal has started, but it has not been completed until I'm well aware of what happens in the future. And when all the facts are on the table, then I have to agree to it, or at least not disagree, for the Kenyan to reach finalization. I hope you enjoyed today's share. See you tomorrow.